afternoon. Um, if you don't know already, I'm one half trick snappy. And he's Wayne, uh, the other half is Danielle. And this year we're taking our biggest hike to date and that is the PCT, Pacific Crest Trail in uh, Western USA. Thought I'd do a quick rundown of the gear we're taking on our hike. Because bear in mind that some of this gear obviously is, is set up for two people. So I'm not necessarily going to be carrying all of it. We'll just start with the big three. First off, pack I'm taking is the Osprey Atmos 65. Um, a little heavier than I'd like, but um, it's a really good workhorse. It carries weight really well. Uh, it hugs the body. I have an Exos 58, but um, when you get to about 14 kilograms, it's not the comfiest. This will carry 20 kilograms, no problem, and has done. I don't expect to carry 20, but you know, that option is there. The tent I'm using is the Big Agnes Copspur U03. Um, this is the mounted glow version, so it's got uh, built-in LEDs on the roof. Um, really spacious three-person tent. We use it for two dual vegetables and entries. Um, just really lightweight, excellent tent. Sleep system. Two sleep pads. The first, got a thermo SED light. We're going to use in the desert um, to avoid any punches. And then after that, from Sierra's onwards, we're using the X-Bed winter light medium wide. Um, synthetic insulated pad, excellent pad, really comfortable, um, works really well. And then the final item is our sleeping bag, which is a PhD sleeping bag, which is uh, Peter Hodgins Design, UK company. Um, it's a minus five centigrade, 23 Fahrenheit rated bag. It's 900 fill power down, um, and it weighs a little under 800 grams. Um, excellent bags, really lightweight, and really, really warm. So that's our big three, or oh, I'd like to say big four, because one, two, three, four. Okay. Next up, the uh, cook system that we use. Um, again, this is all equipment we've used on regular hikes, uh, GR11 in the Pyrenees last summer, and others. Um, the burn we're using is the Optimus Vega. Slightly heavier than your usual PCT choice, but um, it's a good burner. It yes, keeps a canister separate. A really wide base on it as well which is really stable and good for cooking and it comes with an excellent windshield as well so penalty on the grams but again conveniency is there we haven't got to worry about gas being cold or anything like that we also take a frying pan good for frying things uh, this is a cheap thing we picked up somewhere from a supermarket um, and it cooks egg really well we tend to take eggs from every town that we leave on a resupply we can carry 12 eggs six each and a fried egg and your noodles it's quite amazing the utensil bag is um, this we have a long spoon titanium two titanium sports a opinol number eight knife uh, with a built-in whistle and a little spatula for frying stuff and that just goes into a simple little duty bag the cook pot itself is a gsi uh, dualist halo light and in here it holds two cups two bowls and with salt and pepper tossed by the wall and we can also keep if need be a little um, canister in here but this will have a fire lighter and normal lighter that will neatly fit into the pot okay. water um, we'll be carrying one of the knockout doors vectos one of these each for the water bottles we're going to get four smart water style slim bottles and uh, we'll fill them up from this and we're going to be using a soy squeeze as our main filtration this is the mini and uh, we're buying two of the normal size the larger size when we're in the us as the exchange rates a little better and the workout a little bit cheaper that'll be it effectively our water carry will be uh, eight liters each if we need to um, the desert section there will be some dry sections where we might have to carry that much otherwise we'll bin two of the uh, smart water bottles and we'll have up to five liters but generally carrying three it's a quick system. Probably going to be the cleanest and neatest this stuff will ever be. But I'm going to go through the clothing system I'm using. Montane Event Rain Shell. Rab, Fuse, Vertex, Lights, uh, Waterproof Trousers. These may get bounced ahead um, depending on the weather. But um, we'll definitely need them in Washington. Sleep system, I've got a Montane Promino um, base layer with some mounted equipment, merino, leggings, 
Um, nice sleeping, gives us options and keeps the bag clean. Puffy is a North Face Travail hoodie. Um, got this a real bargain earlier in the year. Um, there are light, um, probably warmer ones, but I've got this, it works and it'll do. Um, wind jacket, Montaigne Via Trail. trail. Um, again, comes in handy, mountain passes, breezy days. May or may not get bounced if it's not getting much use. A little bit of extra mid layer, I've got a Montaigne Alez micro hoodie. Um, it's a power uh, grid system, um, really is good for adding warmth under either a, a wind jacket or a rain jacket on top of your base layers. Warm clothing, I'm going to have two pairs of uh, Carrymore running shorts, um, nice and light, quick drying. I don't like uh, walking trousers so shorts work for me. Um, I've got Adidas Terex Merino t-shirt for uh, when I want to wear a t-shirt and a long sleeve outdoor research uh, t-shirt. This is generally for the uh, desert areas, keep the sun off my arms, I burn quite easily. For colder days, um, a bit of layering system, I've got some Adidas Tech Fit uh, compression leggings. These work well with the shorts and t-shirts and will keep me warm on windy, day windy days, um, but uh, they're really comfortable to wear. A Montaigne running cap, icebreaker merino beanie, Icebreaker uh, Merino buff, uh, Jublo Montebianco sunglasses, um, definitely needed for the desert and the Sierras. Four pairs of Innovate uh, ankle running socks, these are Merino wool as well. Probably four pairs is excessive, but nothing like having dry, uh, clean socks to put on after a hot day or even midday. We've also got a pair of sealskin waterproof socks each. Um, we're going to try these out in the Sierras after river crossings is we're going to walk through the rivers with full shoes and socks. The other end change into these which will be nice and dry and waterproof and we shouldn't make get soggy feet. That's the plan. So these will probably get bounced ahead until uh, North Kenny Meadows. Gloves, I'm taking two pairs. Um, these will be bounced until I probably need them in Washington. But a pair of Montaigne Primino lightweight gloves. Um, surprisingly warm for the size and they, they weigh maybe 20 grams. And some Montaigne Prism gloves. Um, these are excellent. Gloves really warm and they'll come in handy in Washington. Cool days, cold days, and the two together for really cold. Um, Dirty Girl Gators, black diamond walking poles, aluminium, not carbon fibre, um, little camp towel, and also I've got this Fargo titanium um, digging tool for uh, leaving no trace toiletries. Um, Weighs next to nothing, it's got lots of rated edges for getting through roots and things like that. That is my uh, pretty much clothing system. Um, Danielle's is very similar. Obviously I like blue and this should work. Anything we find isn't working too well or, or not getting used for instance that um, and maybe the leggings will just bounce forward until we need it. But um, all in all a fairly lightweight setup. We're not ultra lighters by any means, so we, we, we're comfort light but um, all these things are, are tried and tested and they work for us. Okay, electronics and camera equipment. This is probably the single most uh, heaviest category or items. We both carry Kindle, Paperwhite. We like to read, at the end of a short hiking day, uh, it'd be nice just to relax and read. We've got these packed full of books that we haven't read yet. Control Zero solar charger. We've had this for a long time. It works, it's reliable and will keep things topped up on the go. Head torch is the black diamond spot. Simple enough, um, nice and bright with the red light as well. I also carry a small little bag with some repair bits and bobs in, pole repair, some seam sealant, some tenacious tape, some guy lines, needle and thread, and some super glue. Just the old emergency. Camera equipment. Um, first off, we have a 13,000 million power power core anchor battery pack. Both got one of those each. And you come to the main camera gear, a oh, little battery pack here, and that's for the tent lights. Um, just a little 2,000 milliamp hour one. SD card holder, got about 500 gigs worth of SD cards. Syrup um, variable ND filter for filming. Two other filters I've got a uh, circuit polarizer and a uh, 10 stop filter for time lapse. Small little Eagle Creek wash bag, which I use as holding for my electronics. Clearly lightweight. It's got everything in there as well as a few cables, USB leads, that type of thing. GoPro here recession. 
uh, just standard HD version. Comes in handy, waterproof uh, when it's raining. Put main cameras away, and uh, we just use that. We've got a USB powered battery charger for the Lumix. Uh, two spare batteries. I have the Panasonic 20mm f1.7 lens and the Olympus 45mm f1.8 lens. I also will be carrying the uh, Olympus 9 to 18, which is on this camera, and I also have the Olympus 12mm f2 lens. Danielle tends to have that on her GX7, um, and the others are spare. Just give me a option focal length, some options with focal length. The main camera I'm taking is the Lumix G9, which is um, Panasonic's latest photography beast. It's an amazing camera. It's got wonderful features. It's got top-notch video as well as some wonderful uh, photography features. Notably the time lapse, which is what I love doing. And all this is going to be useful with a tripod. I've taken a standard Manfrotto compact light, um, quite an inexpensive 40 pound tripod. Took the top off and I've fitted a decent ball head on the top. Um, this weighs in under a kilogram, which isn't bad for a, a you know, 1.4 meter height tripod. Um, it will come in handy, especially with time lapse. I've tried GoPros, uh, sorry, um, I've used Gorilla Pods before, but I find that um, you just haven't got the height, yeah, you've got that option. So that's it, that's electronics. All this lot fits into here. The camera generally will be sat on the pack on a Peak Design camera clip. Um, so that'll be sort of carried and worn. And that will show it again. I will carry most of these and yeah, we'll probably end up with the solar panel.